Hello everyone and welcome to a new video learning about how to become a professional pilot with the EAS Barcelona. We are now fully into the instrument rating course. Today we're starting off the video during a STAR, a standard terminal arrival, to La Seu d'Urgell, Lima Eco Sierra Uniform, a beautiful area in the Catalan Pyrenees. Up until now you have been able to see a few types of approaches in our YouTube channel. We've seen a full ILS approach in episode 9 of our series into Girona, and also a full BOR approach in our latest uploaded video as well. Today, it's time for another type of approach. But first, let's revise briefly how instrument approaches work nowadays. IFR approaches have not been catalogued as precision and non-precision approaches for a while now. They are catalogued as three-dimensional, which is an instrument approach operation using both lateral and vertical navigation guidance, and as two-dimensional 2D, which means an instrument approach operation using lateral navigation guidance only. Instrument approach operations are classified based on the designed lowest operating minima, below which an approach operation should only be continued with the required visual reference, as seen in the following chart. As you can see, there is type A and type B instrument approach operations with their own minimum descent height or decision height, as well as RBR limitations, runway visual range. Take a moment to stop the video if you would like to look into the details of the numbers for each type of approach. So, are you ready to practice? Today, we're going to perform a Type A 3D APV approach, which stands for Approach with Vertical Guidance. It will be the RNP into Runway 03 in La Seu d'Urgell Airport. Follow along with Vanessa, my flight instructor, and myself as we perform the complete approach, from the initial approach fix all the way down to minimums. To make it more visual, we will be adding the approach plate with our aeroplane following the approach so you have a better picture of what we're doing. Looking at this with the ForeFlight app and the Jeppesen approach plate. Enjoy the video and remember to comment, subscribe and click on the notification bell to know when we publish new content. Activate approach, so uh, all cabin of the position, Boeing 57. We're going to go down to... Uh, Barcelona, Barcelona, buenas tardes. 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 Buenas I want that you realize about something. That's non-precision approach, right? That one? No. Okay. So, the thing is that you have checkpoints in order to check if it's correct or not. Okay. The system didn't know and it will appear a glide path that it's not correct that you follow because it's not precision. Okay. Right? The thing is that the checks from where are? Distance to the runway. That means that the checks are from the stress hole. Okay. Okay, zero three. Yes. Okay. Usually, usually. Which, which is from, okay. The missed approach point usually, usually, coincidence more closer to the runway. But in this case, it's not the case. Claro. So then, there's a difference between the distance of your missed approach point and the distance of your checks or four nautical miles. Okay. So once you do that checks, you don't take to take account that in order. So that means that, for example, at nine DME, I uh, sorry nine, it will be nine plus four point two. No, nine it will be nine. That means that your missed approach point where it is two nautical miles. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, nine uh, minus uh, four point two. Claro. Oh, see, I mean. If you are between that point, once you stay on that point at Sierra Uniform uh, yeah. 06 Sierra, it's telling you it remaining two miles to reach okay, that okay, point. Okay. But it's two miles plus okay, four. Okay. So that means okay. six miles you will be in here. Okay. 
You know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean now. So that distance, you don't need to add it nothing, but you need to take one at distance. Okay, perfect. Roger that. By the way, final approach truck is offset six degrees from runway yeah, central. We line. are going to increase the offset. So. In Jada 4, in La Seu 6, and between your minimums and the elevation of the runway, it's a difference of 2,000 feet. Wonderful. Super. Perfect. Perfect for IFR. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> now, if you realize about what I was explaining you the other time, yeah. Oh, it will turn to. Yeah. I you could, will cross. And over. I have the runway inside. Yeah. Correct. La CEU, la Aérea 2 Mai, cabin del Pantà Juliana, 7.300 pies, QNH1013, para información de tráfico y pista en servicio. Ok, cri, cri, next, cri. down to the final approach fix. Ok. Sierra Uniform 9 Sierra. And you are able to continue with the descent. With the descent, yes, exactly. This is 7,000. Correct. 7,000 set, here we are, here we go. Okay, not necessary. Quite I maintain autopilot? Yeah. Once you are about to reach Sierra Uniform Zero, if you realize that it's super bumpy, we will disconnect okay. it, eh? because no the problem. autopilot with the turbulence, it's not And allowed. here I can do the takeoff and landing gear with the... Uh, no, because it's non-precision. Okay. So you will do it by distance of FAF. For distance of FAF? Correct. So, so 1.5 of Correct. FAF. Okay. And in La C we are not going to configure it with full, because once you arrive to minimums, we will start to perform the best approach. Okay, perfect. Seven thousand feet. Okay, one dot and a half. One dot and a half. Okay. Almost there. Oh, by the way, next one is going to be up to five thousand six hundred. One dot and a half. Speed check. check. La C, un muy buena tarde de la aérea dos mai realizando RNP a la cero tres simulada su campo para información de tráfico y pista en servicio. Two. Okay. Down to Super good. 5,600. Okay, let's go. But it's non-standard uh, angle because it's 4.4, uh, 4, correct? Yes. Okay, let's go to find our approach course. And, and approach course is the zero wind to four. as well because it's 30 almost knots of crosswind. Okay, how much? 23? Uh, uh, 23, yeah. Okay. 22. It's decreasing, eh? but be careful. Okay. Okay, now you have, uh, we have already passed the FAF. Yes, right? So FAF, which means that minimum set, QA set, and go around 8,000 feet. feet. Correct. Left, right. So then, and now you have the checks. Yes. So the distance to the map, it's like three miles plus four, three, yes. seven miles. So you are almost over here. Yes. Correct. And it's telling you that you are higher. Yeah. So reduce and try to descend. I know that it's... Okay, can't read the heat on, by the way. Slightly bumpy, but yeah, no let's try it. Okay, let's go. And 1,000 above minimums, I will do the final. Okay. I to don't exceed the maximum permitted at least 1,000 feet yes. per minute to descend. Okay, now we are at six yes. nautical miles from the missed approach point that you yes. must be at 5,400. Yes. You are yes. almost yes. there. Yes. Yeah? And 1,000 above minimums, final check, fuel pump zone, flat and forward, carburetor heat off, Correct. taxi landing on, flaps takeoff, Landing gear three green down and 
rather trim neutral, no okay. ETC. Probably today the runway you use it will be the other one. So okay. once you reach two minimums, you will need to put a circle to land oh. video to the tailwind. 500 to go. Okay. 100 to go. Yeah. Okay, minimum. Minimum. Let's imagine runway okay. not inside. Runway not inside. Okay. Around. Flaps take off. Pretty great. Gear up. Very good. And climb to Sierra Uniform. Away, SUSP. Super. Hundred maximum continues. It's much better. Five hundred landing taxi off. Speed check flaps up. Fuel pumps off and fuel pumps. Correct. Okay. Very nice, and then climb on heading 0 to 4 to 5,300 or above, and then turn right to Sierra Uniform 06 Sierra. Correct. To and follow to Opisa. 